Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing how to carry out an hardware diagnostic error simulation in TIA Portal version 19. You would be able to know how to simulate a wire break, short circuit, hardware card plug out and plug in with the new PLC SIM interface. Please do like and subscribe and kindly leave a comment behind as you find this video helpful. In the device and configuration video I had shown how to create a ring topology of devices with Profinet interface. I will proceed to run the PLC simulation environment. Uh, by clicking here I will launch the PLC sim. Here is the environment. And here I can create an instance of the PLC. I want to download to the PLC SIM instance as we see no PLC SIM instance is detected. Sometimes an instance can be created automatically, but it's not created, I can proceed to create it as seen. Now I can search for the created instance and load the configuration. Now the configuration is loaded successfully and I can run the PLC and go online. In order to simulate a hardware diagnostic error, I will head to the simulation button and click on the add event button. I will then select the event and ensure that the instance of the PLC I want to add is selected. In the event category section, I have a list of hardware diagnostic events I can choose from. This event can be triggered when the correct hardware identifier is provided. We can locate the identifiers in the system constants of the device and network property of the selected device. Here we can see the identifiers of IO device 1 and the Profinet identifier is 260. I will insert this parameter value 260 into the module logical address field and then select the pull and plug event in the event category section. Then in the cause section I will select IO module removed and then click on the play button. Below we see the pull or plug event being triggered successfully. As we see here the IO device 1 has a fault detection indicated in the diagnostic icon and this is also seen in the PLC. We can plug in the module by selecting the I.O. sub-module plugged in and then select play. Again, we see that the event is triggered successfully. As we see here, the diagnostic icon goes green again. Let's try to see a sample error when triggering an event with the wrong identifier. On I.O. device 2, I will select a non-Profinet interface hardware identifier 274 and trigger a module removal. When the play button is clicked, an error indicating an unknown address is seen. Now we make use of the correct identifier for the pull event, which is the Profinet Interface 279. I will proceed to try the Diagnostic Interrupt Event category as we see that the organization block changes from 83 to 82. I will be activating this event on a card in IO Device 1 as we see in the device view of IO Device 1. I select the safety card to view its identifier which is 352. By clicking on play, I will be triggering the event on channel 0 of the card. Also by selecting on the channel, we can define the type of the diagnostic event, either a wire break or a short circuit or an under voltage. I can also define the channel number the event should be triggered on.
Here we have a wire break event. I will be plugging in I.O. device 2. Here we have the event category. Here we have the instance of the PLC. I would like to show a project where you would not need to insert the identifier address in the module logical address field, but rather select it, because it will be auto-generated. Here we have the device configuration of the second project, and I will be starting the simulation. Here we have the instance started in PLC Seam. I will proceed to set the event up in PLC Seam. Here we see that the addresses are automatically generated. Here, for the selected instance in the second project we see the list while in the first instance we need to add the address ourselves, as at the time I created this video I had not figured out why one project had the addresses auto-generated while the other did not. Please do leave a comment if you have an idea on why this is so. Thanks. I will proceed to trigger certain diagnostic event as I did in instance 1 of the first project. Please do like and subscribe and do kindly leave a comment behind as you find this video helpful. This will motivate me to make more videos. Thank you and good success.